Ladies and gentlemen, Trump was cheered very loudly at the Iowa football game. He won Iowa in 2020. He's up in Iowa in a command with a commanding five-point lead over mashed potato brains, our president. Um, he has only negative media coverage, 100% negative media coverage. He's still tied in real clear politics polls. I think Biden is only a 0.4%. If you ask somebody who despises Trump what Trump did wrong, why was he so bad, they'll say something stupid like he tried to devour democracy or uh, foment a rebellion or he was just a horrible human being. They'll ignore the fact that we had record low poverty with Trump, record highs in household median income. He brought Americans home from military conflict. There wasn't a quagmire in Europe that brought us a lot closer to nuclear annihilation, God forbid. And we had a great economy and a great foreign policy, much better foreign policy than what we have now, and a much better economy. People say that Biden lowered inflation. He raised inflation, ignored it, then raised interest rates. Interest rates are through the roof now, and that temporarily lowered inflation, but you have food inflation at like 6 and 7%. And rent is up at the same pace. So anyway, you will in a couple of seconds hear and watch and see Trump leaving the Iowa football game with a whole bunch of a chance of USA, USA. They love him in Iowa. And here's how we know. When Real quickly, hit subscribe to this channel right now, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have interviews very soon. We're going to have live streams in about a month. Every single, almost every single day, I'll have a live stream. And you have the morally superior, almost always apoplectic liberal Democrats who despise Trump. And what they do is they'll say he was, uh, people gave him the middle finger at, at, at an Iowa football game. Well, it's a, a stadium of 50 to 60,000 people. What do you expect? You think there's not going to be one person or a couple of people? And then there's a YouTube channel that says, oh, he was given the middle finger. Well, uh, there's no video of that. It's just still photos. So it's like, okay, somebody took a Polaroid of that one or two people, you know, you, know, uh, you know, sending him the middle finger, or it was a manipulated uh, image. Whatever. The whole point is you're going to get some people in a stadium of 50,000 in a red state that don't like Trump. The majority do. OK, you'd have to be pretty stupid or ignorant of politics to think that Iowa, the vast majority of people in Iowa don't love Trump. Here is just one example. You look. Look at he won like he dominated Iowa in 2020. But look at the map. OK, and this is the map even this is pretty similar to even New York and California. Most counties, most of every state in this country is red. OK, I should say like the red states are very red and there's pockets of blue. So even in Georgia and Arizona, where Trump lost, which is why he can't um, come to terms with that, because these are red states with pockets of blue. Democrats have the cities, but throughout the entire country, even parts of the cities, good percentages of the cities are red. Conservative, they love Trump. People love Trump. He's a lot more popular than Democrats or media would have you believe. Hit subscribe to this channel to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Shalom, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. Go to hagoodman.com. Um, if you want to give a super thanks, that's below next to the like and the share buttons. And my Patreon is below as well. To my new Patreons, thank you so much. Your support is greatly appreciated. Now, Iowa poll, Trump holds five-point lead. Okay, and you can look here how media spins things, and sometimes they tell the truth. So, the Des Moines Register, Donald Trump greeted with cheers and chants at Iowa versus Iowa State football game. Okay, then USA Today, Trump booed at Iowa State football game. Well... Yeah, okay, you're going to get some people booing, but generally he's very popular, okay? Again, you'd have to be a buffoon who knows nothing about politics to think that, uh, that in Iowa, Trump isn't popular. He's even popular in California and New York, okay? The, the problem is that people who despise him in LA and New York truly despise him 
and and accuse him of things that he never did, like uh, you know, work with Putin and uh, try to foment a rebellion. Things that he never did, they truly believe. These are the people who disown friends and family and like ruin Thanksgivings and New Year's because they get into arguments. How many people do you know that ruin Thanksgiving or a birthday or a get together or a dinner or a lunch or uh, you know, New Year's? Or some kind of family event like a barbecue because of Trump. And they ruined the whole thing, okay? Because they got into arguments and they started yelling. Well, that's the morally superior liberal Democrat in your life who probably already disowned you. So I don't care if anyone votes for Biden, okay? If you want a, an economy that's terrible and a foreign policy that's a catastrophe, then vote for Biden. What do I care, okay? Um, but it's the liberal Democrats who want everything to be their way. And it's not, that's just not the case. The reality is most of the country is composed of red counties. The, the, the majority of the country is conservative. The problem, the, the problem with democratic party ideology is that what, what conservative in 2023 is very different from conservative in 1980. Okay. Um, and, and so socially, the far more Republicans, or I should say Trump supporters, are far more liberal when it comes to social issues. Maybe not as liberal as liberal Democrats, but they've gone off the deep end on a lot of topics. But anyway, so let's listen to this and you can judge for yourself. You tell me, you tell me if Trump was, if this is a, an example of Trump getting booed, okay? Now, is that an example of Trump? Like, where's that one person who um, gave him the bird? Where's that one person who flipped him off? Oh, my God. He, he, somebody in Iowa gave him the middle finger. Okay, you could find that anywhere. You could find that. There are people in Manhattan who despise uh, Biden. There are people in Manhattan who love Trump. What does that even mean? So they're so desperate to try to say, oh, look, our apoplectic um, rage against the orange menace is justified because even in conservatives, even the Lincoln Project, even Liz Cheney, oh, they don't like Trump. Like, so what? We know Mitt Romney and Liz Cheney and Adam Kinsinger. These people are making a business decision. You think they truly despise Trump? You think if the Republican Party actually embraced Trump like a like they should with a former president, that Liz Cheney and Kinsinger wouldn't embrace a Trump's rear end immediately? This is all politics. It's all theater. It's a theatrical performance. The, what's real is Trump's popularity. Okay, Biden is propped up by 51 intelligence officials who prevented discussion of uh, Hunter's laptop, all of that, like an entire public relations apparatus. So what, like, what do you think is going to happen if all of media, Washington Post, New York Times, MSNBC, CNN, New York or New York Magazine, all of these publications, Atlantic, uh, Vanity Fair, Esquire, Jimmy Kimmel at, at, at late night, social media algorithms. What if they didn't care about politics? There would be no stopping Trump. All of them have to converge in unison all at once against the orange menace Donald Trump. And still, Biden is basically tied or 0.4% up in an average of polls. He's running, Trump is running a 4-2, 4 40-yard dash with a 100-pound backpack called U.S. Media and Politics and the Establishment. Give me your thoughts below. Let's, let's listen to this again, just the, the, the end of this. So you don't really see any booing at all. Was there booing? Yeah, probably a little section of the stadium, maybe a couple of people here and there, but generally it was an event that that um and this is Forbes breaking news okay great channel um 2.1 1, 4 million subs sub to it it's awesome i mean here you can listen to this again you don't get this with biden you get like three or four people, not even, you don't get anyone. 
really caring about if Biden's walking out of a football game or any any event. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe. The truth is that he was cheered, not booed. Give me your thoughts. Thank you so very much.